I'm Lloyd Clark. I'm an employment law expert, and I'm here today to explain how to deal with staff absence. Both persistent short-term absence and long-term absence can have a considerable negative effect on any business. In terms of a first step, employers need to effectively monitor staff absence so as to see whether a pattern is emerging in any absence. The first step is collecting evidence of incapacity. This is done by way of self-certification for absences of seven days or less and for a GP fit note for absences of seven days or more. It is also important for employers to separate out any disability or pregnancy related absences. I also advise my clients, regardless of the length of absence, to hold return to work interviews with staff. Return to work interviews allow the employer to raise any concerns, to discuss the absence with the employee and to identify any underlying reasons or reasonable adjustments that will allow and facilitate the employee's return to work. Where staff absence becomes a significant problem, an employer should put a formal process in place. Any questions regarding staff absence or employment law matters more generally, please contact me.